Hey guys, let's begin with this uh, mini internal assessment task and the theme is on Gapminder globalization investigation. So there is a web page which is called Gapminder which has data and we can use it, we can interact with the data and let's see what else we can do with it. So I have divided the whole IA mini task in four subtopics or subtasks. First one will go and explore the data on Gapminder and then we'll choose some factors like income level, geographical regions or historical periods and then we'll visualize the data. So this is the first task what we have to do right now and for this you don't need to learn anything new you just need to explore this web page so click on this link gapminder and here you will see the different posters and interactive graphs so if you scroll down and you will see this title interactive tool you can click on that now this is going to demonstrate you different categories of graphs which you can understand, explore or visualize and then make some observations. So if, you, if I show you this one, this is called the bubbles and you can check the trends if you want. You can also click on ranks and if you want to have it a dynamic graph, just click on this play button and it will show you the live changes in the data and accordingly update the graph. So this is about ranks. You can see the trend as well. And you can also see the bubbles. So there are lots of things which you can do with it and explore data on different categories. So let me show you. If you see on my extreme left hand side of the screen, there is a drop down option for me which is giving me the option to choose let me show you again it's called life expectancy right now if i click on here i can click on something else let's say co2 emissions per capita and on this x-axis i can choose gdp per capita or any other category let's say daily income so once you have decided these two x-axis and y-axis parameters, then you can go on this right hand side and select what countries you would like to explore. So let's say you've got, you've got to, you want to analyze for Argentina or any other in country, for example, India. Click on it. You can add, let's say USA. So you can add these three, four countries, whichever you want. And if you want to see the dynamic graph, you click on this play button. It will start from 1800 all the way to 2100. And it is going to show you what, what has happened in the history and what is happening right now and what they are predicting based on these trends. Now this is a bubbles graph. So each bubble is representing something else. And you can see the colors are representing also different world regions. So see the red region and the blue and the green and the yellow. So there are different regions you can select. So this is one thing which you can do. But depending on your task, what I have done for you, I have taken one example for this task. So let's say we will take CO2 emissions versus income per person or GDP per capita. It's up to you. And we are going to decide about three countries. Uh, again, these three countries, you can decide whichever you want. So I'm going to go back to the, uh, the main page of Capminder. And first thing, as I said, on the Y axis, I'm going to choose CO2 emission per capita, which is already there. And now here, I have selected average daily income. That's good according to my task. So this is one type of graph you will see, but if you want to see the trend line, you can just click on this particular text, which, is, which says bubbles and all the way come down trends and you will see this, the trend line. Right now I have selected four countries, Nigeria, China, Russia, and USA. You can 
change, add or delete if you want. So <clears throat> just you don't need to get the data. The data is already there. The task is to just visualize it, understand the trends and then make some predictions based on that. So this is one thing which we can do and which is really easy. So this is one option for you. And if you are interested in something else, then you can definitely change these categories. So that's the first thing what we did. And look, I have told you to, un to get the graph of bubble size. Uh, Nigeria is on the bottom, but China was also in the bottom till 1960. But then after 1960, it started exploring and increasing its uh, uh, GDP per capita. This is about GDP per capita, by the way, uh, with time. So uh, if you want, you can change this part. But I just kept it for time and GDP per capita. And as I said, if you want to change, you have to just go here click on this and change so that's your first second and third task uh, you don't need to do anything just use the data given on this web page explore decide your parameters and then visualize it and also try to see what correlation the two parameters they hold a direct variation or uh, they don't follow any trend line so you can actually complete this task 3 based on this I'm not gonna do it for you, but you can do it because I can show you the graphs Now for the next task let you really want to continue with this type of data and You want to analyze it further. Let's say first example chi-squared test I hope you remember why do we apply chi-square testing so chi-square testing is going to see whether there are two categories are independent or not right and then you can also continue with t-test if you want so in order to do that what you can do see on this platform they will not give you every information but the good thing is if you click on this facts title and you go here on this data you will be able to download the data depending on the categories what you want let me show you for CO2 emission per capita. So look, my data is there. Now you don't need to copy and paste, better you download it. So download CSV file or Excel file. And then you can open it and that's how it is, it is going to look like. So that's the whole data I have. But according to the task, you can only, because there are lots of countries here, but if you want to just focus on three to four countries so let's go here and just decide those three four countries so I'm going to actually copy the first title line to title row just copy it and go to the new sheet so first column right click and go to paste special and transpose because I want the row should come in column deleted those cells and just have it for two countries UK and New Zealand now if you want just analyze it here using spreadsheet you know very well how to do it just select these columns and insert the charts so you can insert different types of charts whichever you like but those charts may not give you the real statistical analysis so for that reason what I'm going to do I will ask you to go to GeoGebra and just create you need to sign in if you want to use it so make sure you are on geogebra.org create your account so that you can save your file as well click on plus activity just give a title that stat analysis and then click on GeoGebra create applet as we just need to do the spreadsheet from GeoGebra so I'm gonna click on spreadsheet and done save and close now you go here you your file is actually there so right click and then you will see open in app your your file is here now what do you have to do just copy your data from your 
Excel or spreadsheet. So I'm just gonna copy all these three columns and paste it here. You simple like uh, Control V or Command C and then Command V to paste. Look, so my data is actually ready. Uh, let me just see if I have some extra data so that I can delete that and then paste this. So now my data is already there. What I have to do or what you can do with this. So look, the first thing you can do, you if you see here on these uh, toolbar, so if you click on the first option, you see one variable analysis, two variable regression analysis, and then multiple variable analysis. So second option is best for us if we want to use the uh, trend line or regression line for these two countries. Uh, just to see that okay how these two countries are doing so what do you have to do just click on this and select your countries if you want so select first and second a and b column click on this and then two variable regression analysis what is going to happen you will see a scatter plot the advantage of using GeoGebra is that you will have options to see your scatter plot like this and you can change column B column A on Y on X axis if you want now there is a good option for us that regression model so if I click on this there is it right now it is none so if I click here I can choose linear so look I can see the linear graph I get the equation immediately and if I go on linear or I would like to see further options exponential polynomial growth or logistic I can try those as well and I can get that equation immediately so I can go here I'll just stick to linear right now what else you can get it from here go here on the right hand side Sigma X Sigma X will show you all the statistics related to these two columns column A and column B let me show, show you here so if you see here mean of X mean of Y SX SY R regression line 0 0.985 it is very strong relationship and you can see the standard deviation and all those values which are associated with simple statistics so you can get it from here what else if you want to switch X and Y you can so just click on this part X interchanging with Y you can see the immediate change and if you want to see the residual plot as well just click on first stop second option here and you will see that so if there is nothing so you won't see anything here so just if you want to hide click it back so on one page you can get everything done based on your statistical analysis now this was not my target to just show you this so what I'll do you now uh, because you you must be wondering how to do chi-square testing or t-test for these two lists so let's do that I'm just going to reload this because I don't want to save it I'll paste my data again and now I'm going to select my column B and column C so when you select column B and C go back to the toolbar and you will see multiple variable analysis so just click on that look it, quickly you will see these two box and whisker plots now the good thing is it's not only box and whisker plot but when you click on this Sigma X you will see all this related statistics so column B n 162 162 the average is 80 and 72 for two different countries standard deviation minimum quartile 1 median quartile 3 and maximum every information you get it here now what else you can do go here there is a, a title called stacked box plots so if you just want to see this is that's what you actually was wondering so but click on this statistics option and here you go you can do the t-test difference of means and pulled on and then you can decide your alternate hypothesis that your average or the 
the sample not, this is not the sample this is the population mean so the population mean is less than or greater than whichever option you want to choose just pick and choose and you will see the results here yeah let me bring it up so look the probability is zero t value is 7.20 something and uh, if you change this option right so it is less than so the average of uk or the population mean of uk is less than new zealand and then probability is one right so if you select third option so that's how you can get it done so these things you can do it easily one more thing let me show you just click on this if you want to save it you can save it here and if you click on view i'll just open the algebra view if you want to calculate something manually right let's say you are only interested in standard deviation so because i i can verify it quickly here so this option will help you here just type standard deviation just type st better yeah st look so you will see here standard deviation because this is a raw data we are we have not taken a sample so we can select the first option and my the raw my raw data is from b1 sorry b2 to b163 so b2 to b163 so look i can see it 7.45 and you see it 7.47 something i think we have 162 or 163 i can just quickly go and check oh it was still 163 oh yeah that's correct same you can do with the other data and if you want you can also do the chi square testing so chi square testing you can just select your list and list if you want if you have if you want to create a matrix you can also do that but if you just want to see very quickly chi square test with a list so you can just type same thing b2 to b163 and then comma c2 to c163 and you can see it so 0 0.02 is the probability uh, right so it depends what sort of significance level you are considering and 201 is the chi squared value so by using this algebra view you can calculate these things otherwise your t test was done here as well try it and you can complete your task especially when you have uh, lists which are let's say longer than or more than 100 entries